Very grateful that everyone in this room is here. Yeah. I would like to say rest in peace to Michael Brown. Yeah. He will never get to see the next phase of his life. I would like to give all thoughts and prayers to the people who are out there peacefully protesting. And I also give thoughts and prayers for the people who could not hold that anger in because riots are only the language of the unheard. We usually come on to Queen's um, champion. And I just got to tell you today, that man, no matter how much we do it, no matter how much we get shit together, shit comes along that kicks you on your ass and you don't feel like a champion. So tonight, I got kicked on my ass when I listened to that prosecutor. Shit! And I'm telling you, you motherfuckers got me that. I knew it was coming. I knew when the fucking Eric Holder decided to resign. I knew it wasn't going to be good, but I gotta tell him, you motherfuckers got me today. You kicked me on my ass today because I have a 20-year-old son and I have a 12-year-old son and I'm so afraid for them. You, you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers on the other side years old when you motherfuckers killed him. He was the same age as I am. The same age as L. He was a young man when they killed him. But I can promise you today if I die when I walk off this stage tomorrow, I'm going to let you know this. It is not about race. It is not about class. It is not about color. It is about what they killed him for. It is about poverty. It is about greed. And it is about a war machine. It is about a war machine that uses you as a battery. So, so I might go tomorrow. I might go the day after. But the one thing I want you to know, it is us against the motherfucking machine. Let's go. Let's go, 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 let's go